flowers arrived yesterday. Perfect timing. If you've been looking for flowers for your guests, your friends, your family, for yourself, especially during COVID, we all need a little bit of sunshine and happiness. I've brought you today to Touch of Class Florist, located at the corner of Blundell and Number One Road in Richmond, BC. Our lovely business owner, Amy, is working hard getting her orders together. She's exercising her social distancing. See this beautiful bouquet she's got coming together? Good morning. How are you today, Amy? I'm very good, Stacey. How are you today? Good morning to you, too. Thank you so much. I'm doing well. Um, today we're doing an interview so that I, as one of the local realtors, can help promote my local businesses, just like yourself. It's very important to me to help build my local up. All right? Oh, so sure. today I'm with Amy from Touch of Class Florist. Amy is located at the corner of Blundell and Number One Road, and she has a beautiful flower shop. And I'm hoping that everyone gets the opportunity to come on down and bring a little bit of business to Amy and bring a little bit of sunshine home. Amy, uh, may I ask you, please, what made you decide to open this business? Oh well, it's like I don't know before that I have to open this business. Mm -hmm. I just came to this flower shop to introduce myself if they need a part-time job right but then the guy said actually we don't need it but if you want to work here without pay you can do okay he said. so i came every day and then finally he said after valentine i have to get out in the business and would you like to be the owner of touch of class he asked me i said no because i'm still uh, caregiver. I'm still on a caregiver program, I said to him. But then I said, no, you can do it. Why not try? I said, because I know you can do the business. You are a good businesswoman. Right, and you do a good me. job, right? And then I said, oh, I don't know. I said, he approached me that, well, Amy, would you like to be the owner of the flower shop? Touch of class, he said. I don't have money, I said. But then she decided to get out and ask me to pay sixty thousand. Oh, wow! Yeah, that's a lot. So sixty thousand. Then I went again to the bank. Mm -hmm. He lent me thirty thousand, and I borrowed some money also from my credit card <laughs> in order to pay her. So from March two thousand six. I'm the sole proprietorship of Touch of Class. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm very proud because everybody liked me. Yeah. You're super lovable. Yeah. So that's my story for being, have this business. So how many years is that? 2000? So I was with my partner 2003 yeah. until 2006. And then from 2006. And 2006, March 1st. I'm the sole proprietorship of Touch of Class Flores. Perfect. I'm so happy yeah. that we get this opportunity to have this conversation. I'm not just giving you a Google review. I'm face to face and I'm feeling the love that you have inside. Yes. It's not just for your business. It's the love of your community. And I think that in, in our business, we really need to extend to the community during challenging times like this. I wanted to interview you because I know how long you've been in business here. I've bought flowers from you in the past. And to me, I'm seeing many businesses struggle right now. So right now I needed to come and meet with you, do this interview, promote you, promote your business. Amy. Oh, um, thanks very much, Stacey. It's not just the beauty of the flowers you offer. Uh, it's the beauty of your smile. It's the warmth in your heart. That's why we all keep coming oh. back. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a truth. Oh, so just your friendly little reminder. Touch of Class Florist, number one road, Richmond, 277-9618.
going to come and see Amy because she's going to bring you some sunshine to take home. <laughs>